You guys, welcome back to That Chick Angel TV for another installment of The Born and the Beautiful. This is another brunch-ish uh, mukbang. mukbang. I, however, am having dessert. This is from a local cafe called Marmalade Cafe. Pretty old lady, Marmalade. Uh, and we are enjoying wine from a company called Bright Cellars. Oh, that's a sponsor. Yes. Not in this episode, but it's that's a, a podcast, right? Yeah, so I am trying it so I can give a personal opinion on, <laughs> here's the thing. And we're having some right now. Uh, I just had some, what is this called? It's called um, French Colombard. And it was a uh, very, if you all would like to try mm -hmm. it. Like it's not try. super sweet. And I know y'all like y'all stuff a little more sweet. I know white wine is it. That's what it's called. I just I just told you. Well, uh, family though. I don't. That's the question. It's that's on the card. Read the card. Okay. Mm. Real quick, y'all. It's a Chardonnay. Huh? It doesn't say that, but <laughs> um, <laughs> the grape is the French Colombard. Mm. The literal grape is that. So that's what it is, a Columbard. Uh-huh. The Chardonnay. <laughs> the Chardonnay grape is a Columbard. Um, so on today's Bold and the Beautiful, we're going to talk about places we've lived. A lot of you all probably have seen little pieces of the Fredericks' home. You've seen a lot of our home. But we didn't start there. Mm-mm. We started from the bottom. At least um, me and Marcus did. This, uh, about to we oh. started from the bottom, too. Literally underground. <laughs> no, I'm not joking, Andrew. I, I know you're not. We started, we, by, last. we started by roaches and drug dealers. Yeah, with one leg. Yeah. I'm sorry. Continue this story. Um, so we lived, in, we lived near a corner, near the expressway, where um, the drug dealers, they were very... Um, very professional and consistent. Mm. They were always <laughs> there working. Yeah, very punctual. Uh huh. And I had very a felt. didn't like my presence too much. And I had a um, a Yorkie at the time that I needed to walk. And I remember going out there once, and uh, the dude was posted up, one leg. A leg was the 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 other leg was made of something that was not oh, human he only flesh. Oh, he had one leg. And then that's I thought you I, were saying he was posted up with one leg. Uh -uh. This is why I was like, I need to finish the story. <laughs> His leg was made of something that was barrel. not <laughs> cracked barrel. Mm -hmm. There you go. That was not human flesh or bone. And he was still like pimp heavy. How you doing? These drugs gonna get sold regardless of yeah. my condition. Yeah. He, I mean, how, how you doing, miss? I'm fine. I just let my dog pee on the concrete. I said, girl, we going back in. I'm not even about to try to find grass. Yeah, I used to uh, go to the laundromat over in the little shopping center. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember you ever going, but go ahead. Yeah, because I know when I was walking over there, I had to look extra intimidating because that, all the drug dealers, they were just ice grill you. I mean, they just stare you down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got to a place where I was at my most sizable size. You weren't so at your most sizable yet. I wasn't? Oh, well, I was getting there. Because I used to just walk over in black um, tank tops with my clothes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And just, like, ice grill them back. Like, why do I have to do this? Just to get my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to do my laundry. Yeah, I want to do and my then laundry. And he stopped doing laundry altogether and I had did. me doing it. He said, I'll throw you out to the wild. Because she moved me to California. <laughs> he's like, and she wasn't taking care of me the way she's supposed to He's like, to you were going... <laughs> Like you were going to Baltimore, you used to this. I went yeah. from horses to drug dealers. Then you're welcome. Man, that's a big uh, life change. Yeah. It, it was so funny when I moved them in. <laughs> we had drove back into town, so we drove a U-Haul with this car attached to the back. We drove back into town, and we got in a day earlier. And I had asked the uh, whatever you call it, the, the apartment manager. I said, "You need to fumigate because I noticed a roach or two in there." And I had just moved in. She was like, oh, really? Well, not, it wasn't that yet. Well, anyways, apparently they did the bomb that day because we came in a day earlier. They mm -hmm. did the bomb the day we came in. So we walked in and it was just Chokes smoke. Chokes us down. From, I was like, what's happening? I mean, you she said, I thought it. you'd get back tomorrow. I was like, but I've been gone for two weeks. You <laughs> waited until right before? You could chew the air. That's how thick really? the smoke was. It was bad. Like, oh, I see why this kills and, and we complained another time later on about the roaches. She was like, we were at her apartment. I was like, there is a lot of roaches. I said, whoever lives beside us, their roaches are coming on in. 
She was like, really? I've never seen any roaches. I said, look at your ceiling. <laughs> there was literally a roach. Or <laughs> on the ceiling, making his way to the corner. Oh, really? Walking up the ceiling. All she could do was laugh. She said, I have never seen one in here before. Girl, I, was like, I was like, girl, you know you're lying. <laughs> I be up in here every day. That's hilarious. It was hysterical. I was like, uh, look on your ceiling, That's Maria. That's funny. That was her name, You got to put that in a movie or something. In a movie. Put I ain't seen movie. no roaches ever. <laughs> you know, look, when we moved out, she acted all surprised she that we were moving out. Oh. I've never had anyone leave before. Woman, what? what? In the they, history of this apartment complex? They die there? in there. Is what happens. Yeah. They die of overdose or something. I don't know what's happening. So that was our first place to get together. What was y'all's first place together? I believe it was called Aspen Park. I think so, too. Oh, y'all's had a name. Okay. Had a name. It wasn't all that. I, I didn't even was, have a name. Ours was the apartments. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't even have that. Go ahead. I thought we were killing it because I had... um. A stackable washer and dryer. Okay. But our apartment was underground. Mm-hmm. When you looked out of our bedroom window. Oh, so literally underground. Literally <laughs> the dungeon is what we called it. <laughs> when you look out of the bedroom window, it looked up. You see dirt going up into the carport. <laughs> so you had to walk down the stairs to get to our apartment. And it was on the first floor. Oh. So it was, in a cave. it was literally in a cave. Damp. Up the window. You look out the window. Dirt, no grass. I mean, like where grass would be, there was none. And you see people walking up, they're looking down at your apartment, you're like, ah, get away from us. How do you not end up depressed? I feel like I get depressed if there's not like a look. Well, the, I, I if wasn't you're not tripping. getting enough sunlight. I, I know this place is like as a, well, we lived in Washington. As so. a state, Was well, not as a state, but specifically on what side of the mountain were we? The west side. West side? Uh, it's generally West Side Yeed. The west side of Washington no is all is no sun. The east side, on the east side, when you pass the mountains, right, it's actually really hot. In like it's the like Yakima part, Eastern state, yeah. Washington University, it's a totally different uh, a temperament. temperature. Mm -hmm. Temperature, temperature, weather system, weather system. Really though, different weather system. So our apartment was not decorated. To be clear, Kevin had moved in there first as a single man. Mm -hmm. um, then I got married and moved in. Mm, how was that for you? It was, um, I hated that apartment. <laughs> but I hated it not so much for the apartment itself, although that's probably true as well. It was because of the furniture. Kevin had a couch that was literally like the color of this bag over here. Oh. It really was. With oh. pineapples on it. What? Yeah. The pineapples weren't even yellow. And they the were pineapples same. were like, they pineapples. wanted to be your sweater. But like, imagine your sweater dirty. Where did you find this couch? Well, did it come with the apartment? <laughs> Somebody the wanted to throw it out. Side of the and road. And he decided he wanted to keep it. Side of the road furniture. Do it to you every time. <laughs> it was comfortable, though. It was old. Mm -hmm. Melissa would not agree that it was Where did you move from, Melissa, into that? My mama's house. Did you, How much of your life felt like Bridgerton? I've never watched Brid Bridgerton. Ah. Mm. Okay. Well, we won't give that answer, guys. Mm -hmm. So, y'all were in that place for how long? We weren't how in there long? that long, actually. I think we were only in there till the... Uh, lease ended. The lease ended. I would say inside of a year. Mm -hmm. uh, because I knew immediately <clears throat> that's not where I wanted to stay. I was like my black couch. <laughs> Where they say it's comfortable, but really it's just old well, and it's comfortable. I mean, you sat on it and like you would you literally sink to the floor. You would literally <laughs> sink. <laughs> it was like get out, sink into the floor. Yeah, yeah. but that, I'm telling you, you lay on that couch. Oh, it it, it would hug you. Yeah. That's how mine was. Mm -hmm. It was say, hug come here. It was Take a bear hug though. It was a bear like, hug. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Envelop you. Yes. I had some amazing naps on that couch, but I feel like when we moved, we took your mom's furniture, right? Mm -hmm. Mom and dad's furniture. This red furniture we took when we moved to our second apartment. And then we'll, we'll no, it. I think we moved. I think we got that. Mm -mm. Because the picture of Zay Zay with Mel Mel is on that couch, on that uh, love seat. Yeah, but I think that's in the house because Isaiah wasn't born until we moved. He was only born. No, baby, he was born at. Uh, no, Isaiah was born in August. We moved in in October. So that's only three months. No, baby. We had that red couch. I'm going to tell, tell you. I'm going to tell you why I disagree. Because when did my parents get divorced? That's how we got that furniture. We got that furniture because they sold their house. This is true. <laughs> exactly. So were we at your parents' house when she was holding Isaiah? 
No, I think we're, are we not in the house house? I think we're in the house. Oh, I see what you're saying. That could be true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like Mel was at our first apartment, but that could be in the house. Because remember, too, she was in Atlanta. She came back. Yep, I remember. Kev was so right, too. No, baby. No. <laughs> That's like Melissa's right. birthday's on July 14th. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how I remember, because like, they was born in August, and we moved in on Halloween mm -hmm. to the first house. I got to hear that one. What? Melissa's birthday, birthday was on July 14th? Yeah. When I told him my wedding anniversary oh. was on July 14th, he was like, same as Melissa's birthday. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> I had some soldier in my sister. He said, that. how you going to tell me about <laughs> Melissa's birthday? Uh, I said it was the 14th. I just, I, my, I, uh, Josh, my throat. I was you, eating some food. I'm going to remember this. Next time we order a mukbang, I'm going to make sure whatever you order, <laughs> it's not going to be what you want. <laughs> and Kevin was like, yes, no. it's the 14th. And Kevin I was like, we talked pops. several times. <laughs> he said, Melissa's birthday is July 11th. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been wrong in my life, Liz. Let me tell you what. My actual birthday is July 11th. I had someone ask me if I was lying. I was like, why would I make that up? Yeah, why what's would wrong? It? What's, what's wrong? I think because it's 7 Eleven. Ah. Um, but, I, girl, the way I don't care what the day I was born, it just so happened to be on 7 Eleven. I don't know what to say. But she like, literally was like, is that really your birthday? Is that is that right? Well, who puts that together that quick? <laughs> I really was like, why Hooray. can't it be? Okay, so be what was birthday. that? So where y'all were just saying, where did y'all go to? Y'all ended up talking about the couch, and oh, I don't sorry. know where y'all went. So after that, we moved. We moved to Orchard Park. We moved to Orchard Park. The Orchard Park was a whole different scenario. I, was I that townhomes? Oh, no. No, it was just another apartment complex. It was literally, <laughs> but it was above. But ground. it was close to. It was above ground. <laughs> it was still on the first floor because y'all know the first floor is the cheapest apartment. Hey man, easiest move into. Uh, but it wasn't well. easiest move into. It wasn't not underground. The you're right about mm. that too. They come in. This was closer to the mall, Tacoma Mall. Mm. Uh, I felt like we had moved up. That's was, what it sounded like. It was. It was nice. I, I enjoyed it. Right. I was trying to have women's meetings at my house. Oh, come on. You said, listen, y'all going to see this place. That's because they only, put nice, they only put nice apartments near the mall. It's always right. a really, really nice It place. was a cute little situation. It was number 585 square feet. It was tiny. She said, oh, Don't let Angel get an upgrade of anything, regardless of how... <laughs> Might have an upgrade it's like no people gonna experience Absolutely. this <laughs> oh i love and i already love to entertain i love to have people over oh let me get a nice space completely decorated Man. people's coming over orchard park was so nice we uh we lived there for what a, a year huh i think it was born in that house i mean he mm -hmm. he came back home to that house yeah he did yeah i was gonna say just ask her Move it forward. <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> Save the headache. Right. No, that's true. That's why I took five hundred pictures of Isaiah when we brought him home. Literally, I put all I sent off, put all five hundred on Facebook, and my grandma was like, "Most of these look the same." <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just. It was just crazy. He wasn't you. moving. I wasn't moving the camera. I was just like more. Of this. Little Isaiah was four pounds seven ounces. Why was he so small? You he had him early. Big premium energy. Oh, I had a okay. uh, preeclampsia. That'll do it. That's that yeah. That's your girl. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what, what what's her name Rihanna is trying to avoid. Who? Is oh, that, Rihanna. Yeah, trying to yeah. avoid that preeclampsia. Oh, yeah. That she thing. Sure does. That's real. That thing is no she ain't even joke. Get no preeclampsia. She gonna you have preeclampsia. She gonna have straight clampsia. Yeah. What'd you say, Kay? He wants some. He wants some jelly to put on his dry. Strawberry. Yeah. Smash it on down here. Smash it on. Uh. So y'all lived in that apartment. Was it a one bedroom with you? One bedroom. Well, you and the baby. It was just nicer apartment but it was the same as size. soon as i found out i was pregnant though i was like we have to buy a house mm -hmm. we was both in the banking industry so we we knew about the acorn loan which allowed us to buy a house with no money down which was the only way we was going to get a house Correct. we was not going to have no money down you know we had good credit good jobs we we had no money. what year was that Two, 2006 okay we moved four we bought our house. six 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 and we've been homeowners for 15 years that's a long time yeah, yeah, but we messed yeah, up because you would think, oh, 15 years in, that means your house is Yeah, don't darn even tell nothing about nothing. Uh, okay. We did not mess up. We did what we could at the time. Yeah, could make no that's mistake. actually true. Yeah. Do y'all still make, own that house? Still yes. own that house. That's, that's amazing. amazing. I knew we had it for a minute because the tenant was like, we got to replace the roof. I was like, that's about 15 years in. Yeah. <laughs> you guys talking about replacing the 15, roof? 20, replacing yeah. the uh, hot water heater and stuff? That's that 10 year stuff start coming due. You didn't have that house. You didn't have that, that house. Man, shit. Man, we did the deck. You, you did there. I, I was holding. <laughs> so I, I, 
<laughs> Greg was like, hey, I probably could have done this by myself. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have y'all here by I was holding stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> but no, nah, our second apartment wasn't really bad. It just, a baby quickly, you Made grew out of it in one right. second. They got so had, much stuff. They have so bruh, much stuff. When we, I was at Tim's house doing a mukbang the other day. And it is so interesting how when you have a newborn, that whole living room, you can forget about it. Oh, it's okay. It don't matter how nice, because their house is nice. Diapers in the trash, swing, the little, uh, not the, you know, the, the like thing you put them into, like rocking with your foot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. A, it's what a rocker. Is that called? The rocker, the little play thing, like your house becomes that baby's house. Your house becomes a daycare. It's annoying. And, and that's they, why don't ever, they don't ever make the stuff so that they all fit nicely mm-hmm. by uh-uh. each other. Mm-hmm. Like that's as what big, somebody bulky, should do. Big and bulky. Make it so that they all fit near each other very well. Mm-hmm. So they don't take make up it the whole aesthetic, house. Somebody. No, yeah. just make it like a Cut little corner, baby. Yeah. Cut this out. We need to need to have just somebody design it. that and come out with it. And the bald and the beautiful Bottom play. Beautiful. And even though yeah. none of us is having nobody's kids ever again. We ain't got to, but people will get that. The bald and beautiful play corner. This is good. I'm glad you like your pico de gallo. This ain't so. Our third, our first good house was our house we purchased. How many? How big was it? Twelve hundred square feet. Okay. You know what's funny about that? Two bedroom. We had thought about turning. It was a. It was a, a quadrant home. Yes. So you had the option to turn into a three bedroom, but just meant you didn't have no dining room. You'd have right. walked into your house, and the first left would have been a bedroom with no closet. With, that was this little. And you all only buy new construction. We're only about new construction. Because Kevin isn't, we're not handyman people. Don't bring we are. I said we are trying to be no, the You better. said Kevin, but it's, that's true. We are not handyman Kevin people. ain't handyman boy. We're not going to hire, and I already know this, so I'm not going to set myself up to be frustrated later. So I have to buy new. Okay. Well, that sweet. house, listen, that was the best 1,200 square feet this side of Mississippi. Wow. The fact that we own the home, it felt we big. stayed there for yeah, Until the kids start growing. Oh man! Until we moved here for seven, six years, seven years. Seven years straight. We had Joe. Joe made the house small again. It was straight when it was just us and Isaiah because it was all his stuff was in one room. Yeah. Then you brought another baby in, and Mm -hmm. Isaiah was sleeping in our room in a little bed next to our bed because he would not sleep by himself. No. That man. I was a picture of him with his arm behind his head, smiling straight up. He's like, "We going to bed, huh?" Could not Amazing. get that boy out of our room to save our life. There's a lot of good memories at that house because Jay's kids and our kids and Nick's kids and our homegirl Kita's kids, we used to be at the house all the time. We used to be barbecuing Every on the Sunday. deck. We had no money for birthday parties, so we just would have them all at our house. Mm-hmm. We rotate. Me and good. my, Monique's uh, oldest daughter, or only daughter, I guess, her birthday is on the 5th. Mine's on the first. So we had joint birthday parties for six years. Wow. Kids downstairs, adult. Well, actually, kids was upstairs. Adults was downstairs. May 1st? May, May 1st. 1st and May May 5th, right? 0506. Yeah. Her birthday's on the 6th. Oh, so our birthday. I never get a birthday right. Bless mm-hmm. your heart, baby. You probably ain't watching this. But uh, Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> all good memories. Great memories. Um, our, Zay Zay, oh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, go. Go ahead. Zay Zay went to kindergarten. We walked him. His school was in the, in the neighborhood. We walked him to, when I got, we walked him to school the first year is what I was going to say. Then after I got fired, I walked him to school every day and walked him back um, home. It was great. Great black. And also, all the kids in that neighborhood, their dads was there. Mm-hmm. And all the things, even though they weren't all married, it was all the dads was up in was there. Was it so a black community or black? Multi- black it and was Samoan. called uh, mixed income. Mm. And so what that means was that there was a combination of homeowners and um, renters. renters. And Section 8. And Section 8. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is a mixed income. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is. We um, bought our first home in 2008. 2008. I was on I was a here, show right? called mm-hmm. ER. We're closing down. It's only temporary. How do you know? Oh, boys, run around here, check for cracks in the ceiling, and now we're having some dinner. That Where Kevin are you? likes to bring up. Was that the first season or second or third? I don't know which season I was in. Second season of me being in the show. Nurse Don Archer. Yeah, first mm-hmm. season we was in that apartment. Yeah, first season I was living in the Roach apartment. And so <clears throat> when I saw... you had to say ER. <laughs> I know, I did. <laughs> when I saw how much money I made the first year, mm-hmm. I was like, 
While we making this money, we should we should buy something. While we making this money, yeah, I was like, we should buy something. I don't know if she was making this this money. I was. (laughs) You were working. I was working. I I was working. Same same type of work or different? Nah, it was different. Uh, I was working. It was a set. It was for the same. Well, now it's completely different now. There's a real estate development company, um, Mm -hmm. and I don't want to mention them because I hate them. (laughs) Um, But I was basically a. Building engineer is more like a maintenance guy. Yeah. Okay. Basically, who it was. So, I don't know if it was an Acorn loan, but we put down a smile and I think a check <laughs> yeah. for two hundred. That's all they got. Who's HSN? <laughs> that is basically. Yes. I don't know. F-A- so F-A- 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 oh, smile. Oh, was your first time homeboying? Yeah. Homeboy? Yep. Yeah. Same situation. That's when you get all the deals. It's under it. under seven hundred thousand yeah. first time homebuying, they'll make a deal for you. They so were like, how how much you guys can put down? I was like, we were like, we can put down your. Uh, hopefully, you trust us. And we write down our name. Right. Our name. We put that down. Yeah. I, put that down. The Great. name is on there. Um, but, uh, we purposefully looked for a fixer upper because we were like, this is an investment. Yeah, we gonna make it look do something. Yeah. This is also uh, the market had crashed, so yeah. there were foreclosures. Yeah. Every which yeah, one? so literally the uh, the house. I know for a fact the house that was like directly across the street from us. Uh, I think he said eight years prior he paid double for his house what we just bought ours for. Really? Because yeah. we originally were looking at townhomes because I thought that's all we could afford, and then when I added the in HOAs, the HOA, yeah, uh-huh. for the townhomes, I was yeah. like, that's actually equates to seventy five thousand dollars over the the um the life of the loan of HOA fees. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I said, if if we're saying that we can afford that, that, yeah, then I'd rather it be put towards the mortgage, something that we can um something that we can recoup when we sell the house versus yeah. mm-hmm. uh HOA. So we stopped looking for townhouses because we did put a bid, a bid on a, a townhouse in Chatsworth. Uh, mm. They were getting ready to accept it. And we were like, nope, we don't want it anymore. <laughs> or they did accept it. We were like, we don't want it. You <laughs> said, me, me mine, like my grand. You said, me, mine. No, we don't. Mine? Me, mine. Me, mine. Oh, like, me, mine. Never. Me, mine. <laughs> so we then found this house. And it was a two-bedroom, one bath, a sunroom. It was how many square feet? Three bedrooms. Three bedroom, right? Three bedroom, three bedroom one, one bath. bath. It was eleven hundred and seventy five square feet. Oh, we was within twenty five square feet of each other. But it had a sunroom. What is that now? The sunroom yeah. is basically an aluminum room with a bunch of windows. This one was built by the cheapest bidder. Aluminum room? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like uh, the walls are aluminum. They're not like drywall. It's like mostly think glass. of an enclosed patio. Got okay, okay. yeah, like yeah, that. basically an enclosed patio. Uh, we called it the weather room because <laughs> everything, whatever it was doing outside, it was happening it was in, in that, that room. room. <laughs> Windy. Yeah, we had that room. I'm yeah. talking about windy, rain, heat, cold. It was it that, was exaggerated in that room. It was just it was that. happening. If it was raining outside, heat the was rain was coming in. in oh, there. it was literally in yeah. the weather room. <laughs> Whatever the weather, but it was in that the, room. The funniest part about that house is before we even had the keys, so we went over to look at the house. It's not funny. It's illegal, but we did it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Sorry, done. Statute of limitations. We good. You good. Uh, and the, nobody knows the house. So Angel, <laughs> Angel paid attention to when the realtor would go look at the house. The realtor would put in the little code to get the key out. So this she is saw before the they started doing digital, like yeah, apps. with your phone. Yeah. So that Baltimore will come through if you don't oh, yeah. watch it, Marcus. So we went into the <laughs> house and we it. were like, "All right, we need to paint because it was like lime green, a lot black, of greens, a lot of different greens." It was. They had some rooms were black and hot pink. Sometimes people we'll, be making decisions. We're going to get to that. Let us uh, talk about che- that in just a second. Yeah. Checkered bordered ceilings. It was oh, a lot room. of Like that. the floor at the max? Yes. Yeah, so and we were like. And then they had light colored floors. Light colored floors. And we, we thought that light like. Light colored floors. We were like, oh, dark no, floors. Cherry are, oak. Yeah, that makes yeah, scream elegance. wealth. When you wealth. have dark mm. floors. So, so, before, yeah. 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 Start doing this so before. My sister loves dark floors too. <laughs> yes. Before we even got the keys to the house. Before we even fully closed. We went over there that weekend before, went to Home Depot, got paint, rented a, the spray spray machine. Mm-hmm. Painted the whole thing. Painted the entire ceiling. house. We stained the floors. Y'all sell? Stripped and stained. We did not have a key. We did not have possession of the house. Nothing. We didn't have did anything. Did they notice when y'all went to close? We, when we closed, the realtor met us over there. She said. She opened up the door and said, Oh my God! This looks <laughs> look really different. I said it does. Huh? Y'all never cop to it. Huh? I, did I ever say? No, nah, we didn't say nothing. 
it was just like because the thing was is that our move in date we didn't we, we were don't like, have everything in the house mm-hmm. and then have to do all and that. pull everything mm-hmm. out i was like we i'm with you before but that, but that paint job when i tell you because i knew i was replacing all the ceiling fans mm-hmm. so we did our best to tape up the floor and tape up everything we didn't want to paint on and i just went ham with i sprayed everything so did not care. I'm talking about everything had white paint on it. And then we uh, demolished the kitchen. I was cooking out of the shower. Yeah, we redid the kitchen. Out of the bathroom, excuse me, in a toaster oven for we, a month. No, nah, it was like a month and a half. Really? Two, two, month and a half, two months. Toaster, I'm in the shower, taking a shower. She's Y'all in the toaster. Y'all gonna die in that bathroom in over there, some biscuits. The thing is, is like we did the kitchen ourselves. Like It was me and her the floor, every everything. single day after work. That's all I would do. All weekend, that's all I would do because we gutted the entire kitchen. <laughs> we had this huge seam in our cheap ass The uh, Home Depot countertop. Not the kind you order, but the kind that's in, on, in stock. <laughs> His press uh, particle board. board. Press particle board. Oh, board. And then so laminate. you gotta glue it together. So <laughs> did the Imagine scene. this guacamole squishing <laughs> out of the sink. I, I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find the cocky to match it, the glue to match it. And I'm like, this is close enough. So it was like brownish color kind of top with like a peanut butter <laughs> scene going through. Just bubbly all about of it. Oh, it was so terrible. Uh, yeah. were y'all the backsplash was. How was it? I mean, I mean. The floor, the, I put too much glue down. And so the glue oozing it was up, oozing out, of up the, out of the floor for the, the rest for of the time we lived in that house. Not only that, the I toilet. Would, I, I would constantly go through and scrape glue. <laughs> yes. It was like a part of our house. Because it would just be walking in a couple weeks later. It just yeah, started yeah. oozing up. <laughs> our toilet, the pipes, they had a, it had a branch or something going through it. So people weren't allowed to flush anything down Man, the toilet that didn't come the out of drain the drain line. So the drain line in front of the house, there's a toilet tree. paper in the trash. The, the, the roots. <laughs> With like with broke, they basically broke through the thing. We found out how much it be a fix. We're like, nah, I it was just like five thousand. Once a year, I just rent a snake and snake out the drain. Just put something real aggressive down there, and chew it up. We'd be good for about a week and a half. Like, oh, you can flush anything down the toilet. At that point, look, we would have so many fun. So we had a sign: do not flush anything down the toilet. Put it in the trash can. Bye. So we all wiped your butt. You had to put toilet tissue. Come on, in the, the trash, trash can. Don't you come out talking about I had well because I had did the thing. Okay, so it's five thousand. Brisha still did it. Brisha, we they told there. you to wipe your I, butt, but in the trash. I snaked that drain one time. I'm out there in the front yard, pushing the thing. I pulled it out and I said, "Who's been over here? <laughs> Who did this? Who was on?" Here's the evidence. You ain't been on your cycle clearly. <laughs> Who's is this? She was like, "That was Brisha." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> toilet paper, roots, and napkin. Yep. Oh my god. Uh, but that house. Uh, we did a lot in that house. We yes. were there for eight years before we moved. We were there for really? eight years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we was in our first house in Washington for seven years, yeah. I believe. Yeah. My Zay's birth till no six years. Fence. No, seven years. Seven years. Seven because he moved here in two thousand thirteen in March, so he would have turned seven that year. Six, seven, or eight nine, that nine, year. 11, 12, mm-hmm. Thirteen, seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it, got it. Um, yeah, so. We, 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 I, I, when we was moving here, I told her we should just let that house go to foreclosure. Mm-hmm. And she was like, or we could rent it out. And I was like, mm-hmm. we could. So we rented it out, moved down here. That's why I married you. That's why I married you. <laughs> so we moved down here, found an apartment. It was not bad. Mm-hmm. What area were y'all in? Right over here. No. Literally, Literally. right on uh, uh, Satakoy and Reseda. No, okay. And, um. Right there? Right there. Uh. Satakoy Arms or something like that. We've lived near each other for we so long. We really have. <laughs> like, Literally have since we've been in California. Within 10 almost. minutes of each other the Where whole time. Where was y'all first place at? Around the corner from our second place. They've been in Lake Bible the, the whole corner from our third, third place. place. We've we, never changed zip code since we've been in California. Oh, we haven't. No, I guess oh, we, we did, just yeah. did. But yeah. well, we had that house. We found it. It was the last apartment we found. We had came down here. I believe in February of 2013, we stayed at that Airtel Motel over uh-huh. there right by Van Nuys Airport. We looked at some of the worst apartments known to man. Yeah. To the <laughs> point where we thought maybe we don't need to move to L.A. That's okay. because L.A., we, they play you here. They yeah. play you. I mean, with a straight face, tell you, rent will be $3,000. <laughs> 
bring your own refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they don't give no There's appliances. There's no washer and dryer in there. We've even been to one where they were like, we don't have an oven. And you got to pay for utilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you have to pay for utilities. <laughs> How are you not going to have an oven, though? Then we got <laughs> to the point because we were like, we're going to save money. We were going to leave our apartment and try to move into a house with other people. We were actually looking at places. To rent a room? Yeah. Yeah. And then I realized... Uh, he had already, he had already, I think, resolved. But he was like, "I'm going to um, entertain this." Yeah, entertain my stupid wife. <laughs> and I realized, oh, we'll divorce. <laughs> we will divorce it here. We only have a room, and Marcus don't like people. Oh um, man, it was going to be terrible. We, <laughs> and that's when we were. Like, <laughs> that's when we were like, uh, "You got she. You have to do something about your dog. She keeps getting over. She cannot come over. She's mm-hmm. doing it. Oh my God, she made. I said, yes, I should make you pay for it. But at this point, I just want to keep your dog out of my damn yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came up with the solution of putting up chicken wire. What? Oh, yeah. On top of the fence. We were like, because it was our fence on that so side. It ugly. It and like, oh, it looked terrible. No, you're not using chicken yeah. wire. So they ended up, I think they gave the dog away or something. But after that, like, he didn't talk to us no more. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Maybe no, never mind. Yeah. So mad. He was so mad. Um, no, the one thing. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. I was about to ask y'all about y'all's thing, but go ahead. The one thing I didn't like about the side court apartment, the, the stackable washer is. The, that's the one thing Melissa said. That's like, what you were bowling with. No, no, no. Oh. I was willing because I'm looking for places. We looking for places. Her one non-negotiable was I need a washer and dryer in the house because we got small kids. They pee, throw up, whatever. I'm not trying to have to like either wait or go out and wash clothes later. So we looking at places, and I promise you, the difference in rent. If it's a wash and dryer yeah. on the premises and not was like seven hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So already the the apartment rent here was more than double our mortgage. Mm-hmm. So that was like insane to like fathom. We're going to a smaller place and an apartment and it's double what we were paying to have mm-hmm. our own house separate with a garage. I mean not a garage, but a, um uh a, a, a it's just carport, a carport carport in the back and like Although no, we didn't have a garage in, in no, it. We we didn't have the money for the garage. No. We did have a carport, but you also couldn't even really park on it. We just parked in front of the house. It was because it, was it wasn't convenient. No, it wasn't. They were like, you could fill the back out with concrete, and I was like, so we're gonna just park in the front. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> having a tiny washing machine sucks when you have little kids. Having to go to the laundry mat to wash um, like covers and stuff sucked. Everybody cooking. For whatever reason, in this apartment complex, it, you know how LA is all garden style? Yeah. Everybody would be you cooking with the everybody. window. Oh. And it's so many different cultures. So, so many different, different cultures. cultures. Your nose yeah. is like, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it was like Armenian people, Mexican people, black fried chicken, hummus, tamales. <laughs> everybody was like, hey, six o'clock, let's cook. Yeah. All Same in time. the complex. <laughs> so as soon as you come up from the underground parking, you just smell Food yeah. from all across the globe. Uh-huh. In addition, boys are loud, and we stayed. It was the first time we had neighbors in their life yes. under us, and, and they were not happy because mm, yes. they and Joe were still like, "Oh, you want to run? Want to rip and run? Mm. Let's jump. bounce instead." <laughs> they used to be like, "Yes, they to us." We're like kids. <laughs> so from there, you all moved to the house. They moved to the house. How long were y'all at the apartment? One year. Oh, that was a so. quick transition. One year, yeah, we was like, we need, I need, I need something else. And also the thing that's just so small but so annoying, carrying groceries from an underground parking thing yes. upstairs or up the, up the stairs. Yes, God. Every time you do it, you just be like, I need, need I need to be able yeah. to walk. I'll leave these groceries in here. Until <laughs> yes, yeah. let them spoil. Like, I will try that to was drive, the I thing. will drive up these steps. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing that was like you i never thought about it until you had to do it like you just appreciate it at our washington house driveway was 12 paces yeah. to the front door this was up the stairs around right. the corner yeah. all, all the way around. around you need your key to even do the yeah. walk and you, you need your key stuck. no instacart you cannot have somebody bring it to you yeah. that's not happening um so we instacart wasn't even a thing then instacart yeah. wasn't even a thing we moved to our first house house in the seat of and it was great. We had a pool. I know. I was like, y'all set it out. We, pool? Them boys. We didn't even want the pool. But it just came with it. Them, <laughs> Isaiah and Josiah, that first summer, the they wore that pool out. They didn't even wear clothes. They would wear, sw- Melissa got them like four or five pairs of swim trunks. They'd wear a pair of swim trunks, put them in the dirty clothes, grab another pair. Of sw- That's all they wore for clothes. Wow. It's just swim- for a whole summer, all three months, they swam every day. After that, never swam again. Unless they're coming to work now. It's cold. 
It's but gold. that house had every bug ever. <laughs> I feel like somebody might have been murdered there. The point you said, are we in the wilderness? We had roaches. We had a beehive <laughs> stuck inside of the house. <laughs> or, or, yes. Probably like three summers three. in a row. It was like, why are bees? Fernando. Fernando they used to come out and do whatever they were going to do in the very next summer. It would be bad. Same bees spot. would it's come out spot. of the light fixtures. We had a bird's nest inside of the, uh, where you wash clothes and it comes out that pipe yep, yep. or the whatever. Vent. The vent, thank yeah. you. I'm like, the pipe, whatever it is, the <laughs> vent. It was a whole entire bird's nest there. It backed it all the way up. We had to have the Terminex people come down. They was like, oh, y'all got German roaches. These ones are hard to kill. It's going to take, it's gonna take a long when, time. When they come out and name the species of roaches, yeah. I'm like, just. Because I'm like, we know we ain't dirty. We right. just moved right. in and there was right. roaches. I'm like, bro, we ain't never had no yeah. roaches. And they was like, this house was uninhabited because it was cheap for a long time. Cheap. And we knew it was cheap because, you know, they can only raise the rent so much yeah. per lease thing. So we had been like, man, we're out of this house. We would go to look for a new place. And, and the so rent would be fifteen thousand uh, or fifteen hundred dollars yeah. more, and the place would yeah. be smaller. So like, was well, somebody murdered here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, about 30, 45 days, whatever. They'd be like, "Are you going to move here? Are you going to stay? Are you going to move?" And I would be like, "We move in this official notice. We finna be up out of here." A B fifteen days. Before. Can I reset? <laughs> Actually, I'm back. As you just said, backtrack, just backtrack. Can I? The uh, on bathroom, Angel and Marcus, peach tub. Oh yeah, that's definitely a very valley type of thing. Peach and peach, white marble. Peach and mint green. That's the two uh, colors. Oh, it was the worst. It was mint green on the other side. It was mint green <laughs> on the other side. It would not drain right ever. No. Yeah. In the history of ever, it just we call them people. I don't even know how many times could not get it to drain right. Then the tub starts seeping. It was a hole in the wall. It was just like yes. Yeah, so people would come out telling us that they was fixing it, but they were making it worse. No. So by the end of it, there was a hole, a huge hole in the by the tub on the wall. Oh. There was just a hole, and every time they would be like, "So what happens is the floor, right? It's like this, and so it comes out." And I'm like, "But if I've been here for six years, haven't the floor always been like that? So why did it just start leaking?" Right. Here's what right. would happen. This is wow. why me and Melissa were like, "Y'all trying to drive, drive us crazy." <laughs> the bathroom floor, when you take a shower, the bathroom floor would be dry. The carpet on the outside into the master floor would be soaking wet, right? Oh, wow. no! So what was happening is there was a oh, leak no! through the tub. It's draining on uh, the outside, outside of the tub yeah. and pulling under the carpet. So when they would come in, they'd be like, oh, you're leaving your shower head up. We're this like, way, and Negro. Inside of, the sh inside of the bathroom and then seeping the, out to the, the room. That's the drain gasket that was leaking. It was it. And I ain't handy, so I couldn't tell them. That's why it. there was a hole there, because they stay, staying back there trying to find out what was going on. This and then Melissa was just like, I'm still going to be taking a shower here. I'm just not going to do anything else. So we have a hole in the bathroom for like the last year. Covered up with thick garbage, uh, uh, garbage bags. I just can't. This is so hard to believe because y'all are so lux. The both of you. No, no, that, that's why when we left, I'm not going no, back that's to why that. Why it's on overdrive right now? Because we stayed in that house probably three years longer than we had to. How long were y'all there? Six, Six years. years. Oh wow. Yeah, Six that's, years. Why, that's why they in Lux Overdrive. It and the like, house no. was falling apart from the first. Twenty-four day. carat toilets is what I piss in. <laughs> that's it. And the crazy poop gets thing, a different toilet. <laughs> when we uh, moved out, we went back to clean it. Some homeless people were squatting there. They were. There were tampons <laughs> in the back bathroom. They stole the garage. Cigarettes. They stole the garage opener. <laughs> they probably was Angel and them looking at the how Angel looked at the code. Uh -huh. They came and got the code. It was like ain't nobody because we had left for like three months left on the lease because uh -huh. we were buying our house. They was in there like oh this is fantastic living there leaving clothes food bags. It was like somebody that came and lived in the home. It looked like it, it. I'm like, was that the house we looked at? It was the house before we bought our first house. It was the house we looked at. We were like, all right, we, we can do this. We can get it fumigated. I mean, there were roaches. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's skateboard like, roaches. Rock, that's what I call them. No, you for put real. your foot on it. We in the house. And, and, just, and you can hear what? You, you, we were in the house. You can hear. I was like, like, that was another thing of this house so, at night. Creatures in the night would <laughs> run across the roof. Ain't oh sorry, baby. that's a squirrel. Ain't no, I, I figured it was squirrels later. It took yeah. about a year. No, it half. takes a while to figure out. Like I said, a man yeah, is chupacabra. in a chupacabra. Chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. What is squirrels doing out night? Yeah. Coming in late from the juke joint. <laughs> we had. We, 
the house that we were talking about getting, I was like, I can't believe we considered it because we was like, we just have to rip out all the carpet. It looked like they had been fighting Y'all like, pit bulls. Y'all like a good like project. Not house. no more. We don't yeah, want nah, it. Not no more. It's what be it in our like price they, range. It looked like they were, they were cockfighting. Oh, absolutely. Roosters and pit bulls. And they all were definitely it would look like murder scenes. Like, that was bleeding oh, no. This and is bled on the wall. This is where the mafia slaughters <laughs> bodies. They just don't put down plastic. And then you would come into a room, you would see the dead roaches. I almost can deal better with a live roach. With a dead roach, I'm yeah. like, who what came killed here it? Killed it? And why didn't you take Let it out? Let me tell y'all what else we have. Usually, if you <laughs> kill a roach, if you're not a human, you eat it. Right. 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 Not, right. Nothing right. eats roaches. Something about our house in that neighborhood, it was cat fights. <laughs> Cats would meet up in our backyard and square up. Our first up. house was right. oh, That's what they did. What are y'all meeting here for for the <laughs> fight club? The most wicked sound. Meet me at the Frederick's. <laughs> It's on. Y'all, oh, y'all know what's, what's up? Dude. Pull up the receiver. It's going <laughs> 2 o'clock in the Dude. morning. See me in there in Kevin in the backyard. We were literally here. Bring <laughs> down. <laughs> Dude, we were literally going to walk out. Deep. Bro, it's wild. Yeah. Dude, it would be these massive balls of cat fur, just like tumbleweed going like, yeah, that was a, they, th we that had was a, a battle. Cinder, we had a cinder block on one side, and they would literally balance and fight on that cinder block. <laughs> of cinder block, cinder block wow. <laughs> I'm the like, dogs oh, going crazy. He up to death. <laughs> I, I think they did it on purpose. I'm like, they trying to knock one of the other cats down into the pit with our dog. Right. Oh, I'm pretty sure oh, that's the. No, that, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Fight that, to the death. Yeah, yeah. for real. Like, oh, kill you. Meet us on the block wall after we meet, meet at the Frederick. <laughs> right. We are gonna come on. <laughs> we didn't have a living tree it back there. It was too exciting. Oh, we had a bunch of. We had a living tree back there. We had then a eventually we had a whole bunch of cats just in our backyard <laughs> walking through. We didn't find out until we moved that a dude, one of the neighbors was putting cat Feeding. food around the corner and they was like, man, I ain't gonna walk around. You come through that where you used to fight at? Come through that backyard, Yo, go right out, go over the top of the fence, go food, go right out the back. We had, we had a peach tree in the front yard. Oh. <laughs> the peaches were delicious. They were tiny, but they were However, so juicy. The squirrels kept getting to them. They would get to them before we could get to, to where any peaches. It turned this chick into a mad woman. <laughs> she, this is Angel, literally. Open the door. Oh, no. You get out of that tree, squirrel! <laughs> yelling at the squirrels. Because like, I was watching Literally fishing. yelling at the and top could, of her, like, Angel. I can see them. Say we live in a cul de sac. Everybody heard that. squirrel them. at the end of that when you're out there talking to yes. the squirrel. I, was like, I saw them from doing? the window. It really pissed me off once I finally got a peach and I tasted how good they were. I said, Cause the, oh, these squirrels been eating nah, these the, peaches? The squirrels are assholes because they would leave the nut They would leave the nut on the, the little thing. On, on, oh, they on were the taunting y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he literally saw me when I got I was like, you, I yelled at it and it looked at me. <laughs> Like which you are you? Are you that trace, I had to squirrel. take some steps toward it, and then it ran up. Forget that. He was he like, "Angel, move. get out of there!" She said, "Why don't you shoot him, Angel?" I will go I'm to prison. I'm always ready. Like, get your gun, shoot him. <laughs> shoot a, a squirrel with a nine millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got out of, I, yeah, sure. But I remember. But the, yes. Rats. Now we never had rats in our house, no. and we never had mice in our house because I would have burnt it down. But our dog was king. We had rats in the backyard of killing mm. rats. And mm. one time he I thought got, I got home. The neighbor, my neighbor called me. He's like, "Hey," because he had a pellet gun. He'd be like, "Hey, I shot a rat. It was running off the thing." He said, "I heard some rustling back there. I think your dog may have got it. I'm giving you a call because I don't want him to eat it." I'm like, "He ain't gonna eat it." Your dog was like little dude. <laughs> so I got home and he had this rope that we used to play tug of war with. And I got home, I'm looking for the rat. I'm like, okay, clearly the rat got away, but I, everything is knocked over because you can see where he was chasing. Mm, yeah. Yard furniture moved all over the place. Dumpsters was knocked over, moved yeah. like the rat was gone. Like he couldn't get yeah. it. So like normal, he goes, gets his rope, he throws it up. I'm going to pick it up. That's the rat. <laughs> The uh, rat up He in literally the air. ran to me and like threw it up like catch and I was I almost caught it in midair and I went down and I was like I would have divorced him. <laughs> and he came in and said, I caught the rat. So <laughs> look, here's the rat. And the rat was just <laughs> and look, the rat was just like <laughs> the, rat. The, the rat was his, his mouth open. He'd been mauled up and played with for I don't know how many hours. I was like, if I picked this rat up, I'd have got him put to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he I think he was like Six rats he ended up killing. Oh, this is a serial killer. Oh, he was. You guys he was have had dogs your whole marriage. Yeah, yeah. Because when we started dating, he got the pit bull, and then the pit bull came and moved in with us when we when yeah, uh, I got him shipped out. out here. 
And uh, once, then, once, when we got the house, I had him shipped out here because he was at my brother's. And then, and then I then had my got, Yorkie. You got the Yorkie. And, and then, then he had to add another god dang on dog. My Connie mix. Corso Supreme. Poor was thing, on his he's last old. Leg. Oh, Supreme's still here? Yeah. Oh, barely. <laughs> then you see uh, the spirit him trying and, uh, to leave him every him day. Him and X, the pit bull, <laughs> once he started getting a little older, they stopped getting along. They started fighting. Mm. So I sent some, uh, X back to live with my brother and got Supreme. Listen, that neighborhood, as much as we loved it, and it was hard to leave that neighborhood. We had so many memories there. Mm -hmm. It was obviously our first house. We had little Marcus there. We had the twins there. Yeah. It just had so many hood-like qualities right when we were getting ready to leave. Uh, some the drug addicts random pulled their messed up RV and parked it oh. in front of our house oh my God. and pulled stuff out and were grilling. And let me literally, <laughs> when it went on the market, we were like, "That what? has never happened since we've been in a house." Why are we like, doing? Yes. I mean, you go. I, we would be like, "So when are you leaving?" I, and I see their toenails looked as if they had not touched them oh. in at least ten years. Oh my god! And they're like, "We just need. We just gotta get gas." It's all. The, yeah, we call the police. I'm realizing that they purposefully go to neighborhoods where they see for sale signs um. because they know you'll pay for them to leave. Ah, uh, that's genius. Yeah, mm -hmm. very smart business deal. Yeah, y'all pay for somebody. No, nah, I really should did. No, we didn't know what he said at first because the police had showed up two, three times and they were like, well, they're not doing anything illegal. I'm like, no, they're starting a fire. You need a permit to do that. I'm pretty sure they don't have one. <laughs> so they made them put all that up, get rid of the... Uh, Almost man slept Wait. on the sidewalk. Marcus turned into a Karen. I'm sorry. Does that... Do I smell fire? Uh-uh, that's yeah. illegal. Excuse me. You need a permit yeah. to do that. <laughs> but uh, our, finally, our realtor went over and talked to him. And then when they packed up and left, we were like, no. What did this man just say to them? No, he offered like, who money. is he? But he offered them. We didn't know he offered them money. That's and they just like, moved the street over. They went up one street yeah, over to the next to the next house for sale. I forgot to say we got robbed at that house. The no, receipt? We, we got robbed at that house. Yeah. Isaiah was doggone PTSD. Oh, bless We him. weren't home, but there was like a string of robberies in the neighborhood. There was also helicopters all oh. the... We were oh, in the same yeah. neighborhood, yeah. Um, Oh, the ghetto oh, birds! They would hover out. over our house. Like I'm Man. like, are they protecting us? Yeah, they would hover. <laughs> I, I, I do so illegal. Loud. I came home. You were working at ABD, <laughs> and me and the boys came home. <laughs> Have you ever been robbed? Nah. Like you mean like burger, we're not like robbed or burglarized. Yeah, yeah. Like, at, at, our, at our apartment, my, they broke into my car and took my Bible and my CDs. The oh, we actually God. got uh, burglarized too at that apartment. Go to hell. <laughs> the second apartment, we they sure took your did. the word and realized the oh, the exposure. I don't know the right word that you feel knowing that someone was in your house. Oh yeah, it's, oh, a, yeah. it's a mental thing. Yeah, I was crying thing. in the hair and makeup chair. They thought I had broke up with him. I was like, no, somebody just broke in yeah. my car. I called they Kev. You came home. Yeah. They stole my baby's uh, piggy bank. Their piggy bank. Mm -hmm. They left laptop. We had they laptops, left all the equipment there. Cameras. Computers. Yeah, they did. They stole. They can't buy no crack with a laptop. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, it was literally a huge jar just of coins. Even if it's forty dollars in there, forty dollars in coins is heavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah they That's stole crack that. They freaked out forever. You gotta be strong. Oh, I, I, I was still freaked out. That's a motorcycle. You think they robbed us? I was like, uh, oh no. That's why I uh, every time Kev would go out on tour, I would freak out. Yeah. Oh. Nah. That's, that's that's the reason for the freak out though. Gates. That's what Marcus ends up being the guy friend. Anytime his guy friends go out of town, he's responsible. They be like, hey, for, make sure you go over and check up on family. All right, I got you. Yes, that's what you got to do. <laughs> Just to be hey, like a you visible right? presence. You show okay? up, park, we stand outside, talk. All you right, come over here. man got a knife My on. tires <laughs> blew like three weekends in a row. Yep. And you were out of town. Yeah, I felt like a I literally had like husband. Facebook messages about this. And I was like... To, you know, reason number 3,577, I need my husband in town because my tire blew. Again. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm always at Marcus. Uh, yeah, Carla, she got a flag. Scotty was yes, Scotty Where's she was at? There. Yeah, she's over at. All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on the road. Make sure she's Scotty, you listen, I'm going to be rescued. Call, I'll be like, Melissa, uh, Marcus don't know how to log the kids on. <laughs> 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 
yes. You make sure you protect yes. her. You make sure you that say, get in that school. All right, make sure these fools get class. And he don't know where to find the PDF, and they ain't been to school in about two weeks. They gonna fail them. They gonna hold them back. Help me. Look, Lil Liz gonna be driving in the opposite directions. All right, I see y'all. Right. I'm going to y'all house. She going to. Right, right. I need to drop them off. I'm so ready for regular. We need school drop off pickup yeah. again. That's what I told. Her. I was like, I ain't worried about the distance learner. They're gonna be back in school. They keep day. giving us dog on Isaiah's school. Keep getting pushed back every every yeah, Friday. We like, we right there. Hey, we push it back. Why? It's because they don't really know what they're doing. I'm at at this up. point, the school it's about to be over. Just forget I, I it. it. They just Finish wanted it the money. Just forget it. They wanted that money. It's about to be six weeks. It's gonna be over. Yeah, no, they, gonna be over. Yeah. they don't care. Okay, at home, you mean? Yes, go ahead. Oh, to close it off. But we what didn't finish, you? but it was, those are the funny stories. Yeah, it's the rest funny. life has been okay. Oh, I had, there was an Asian woman that I was trying to save, uh, that was trying to climb over oh, the fence. Yeah. And it, it turns out she had a big old knife behind the, it was a lot. It was a lot, yeah. She was losing her mind. She was like, she didn't speak no, English. No, dementia, yeah. This is so funny. I was, remember when I remember when I lost my mind. She was over the fence, like. Trying to, yeah, we were looking <laughs> like. <laughs> I was, no, like, I was like, no, she's trying to escape. Yeah, she was with a big kitchen knife. Well, she no, was... she had the kitchen knife because we think that the wife, her son's wife, was mistreating her. Um, At least that's the story. We were like, let's tell a pair of this. Yeah. <laughs> that, it makes sense to me. Well, she was, Look, that's no, what because she was saying. When she was to the talking to the police officers, mm -hmm. oh, she was pointing it. at the wife and, and the she was calling her a mother. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one of the police guy. officers understood. She was like, oh, because so she's saying this. I was like, well, listen, she was climbing over the fence and it didn't seem right. <laughs> um, no, what is the, no, I was going to close it out by saying, what is your dream home? Ooh. That's how we're going to close it out. Okay. No one else. Oh, you want me to go yeah. first? Okay. Uh, go ahead, Tang. No, 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 y'all go. I was just selling him. I don't know if we even have the same dream house. We don't. I want a personal <laughs> gated community. Mm -hmm. I want... I want a gate as tall as these walls. I want a long driveway. I want a. We looked at this house, but we didn't get it because the lady was supreme, Karen. A movie theater inside. Okay. Uh, I want a back. The the Calabasas house we didn't talk about, but they, it had a great backyard. It did. It had Fantastic. a beautiful view. It had a pool, but it had enough room to entertain in separate sections. Yeah. There was a little deck that overlooked the golf course. We had people down there. There was grass that was turf, which was good too because I'm allergic to grass. It had an under thing, a, a patio. We didn't really use that that much. It had the lines in it though; it wasn't fully covered. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we had a pool, kind of like a grotto type pool. So I would love that type of pool with uh, with surround sound built into those rocks that look like yeah. rocks with the really speakers. Um, and I want a garage that can hold multiple cars. Three cars, at least. You have a very, most of your house is about the exterior. Yes. yes. So okay. what I was going to say is I'm going to duplicate, just copy and paste here, and then I'll go interior. Mm -hmm. So continue. Uh, <laughs> I would love a guest house that I could outfit as a studio. Like, I, I would love a guest, and this is the one thing. In the the house pool house there. and the guest house. Pool house, guest house, that I could, if I could build this type of studio in a Close. guest house. We looked at a house that we could do we that. We did. We did. And that's the one thing I was like, I paid more because then I could let this office go. Right. And just like, y'all come, yeah. you know, come <laughs> down here. We got the whole studio outfitted. Perfect that's podcast, so nice. all that stuff. I want to record tomorrow, and I'm thinking about how I'm going to do it with the boys asleep. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, the rest of the stuff, uh, and I would love a baby grand. I would love a grand piano in a thing where it it's so fits. Because mm -hmm. people having a piano in their living room and it fits, to be like, okay, y'all doing all right. Mm -hmm. You got a piano in there. And then a, 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 a um, barbecue grill built into the backyard. Oh, you want you know, to build there? Yeah, that was one thing. That our handle, house we were going to get before. We can do some get out of that. We can handle all that. Man. Is that right? Dirt that, cheap. We had have the, stuff the backyard was going to be scenes. immaculate. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's my thing. What, what's your inside? Yeah, my inside is uh, bolted ceilings. Mm -hmm. I love two-story ceilings. I just think that they are phenomenal. Uh, floor plan-wise, get rid of formal dining rooms. I think they're a waste of time, a waste of space, and something I can do something else with. I mm -hmm. They're dumb. I don't understand it. You said don't know. It's time. Um, I love open concept. Obviously, it's very popular. I want the kitchen to go into and look into. This is the thing, you guys. The way my open concept kitchen is now, when you're cooking, you face the wall. Me no want that. Oh, you want an mm. island the oven. I mm. want my kitchen while Stove I'm cooking oven. to face 
the entertainment space. Yeah. So Did I you get that inter- butler's kitchen, prep kitchen? I would absolutely get a butler's kitchen. I think it is necessary whether you have someone coming in and cooking or not. I just think it's something that you need. Uh, <laughs> I, prob- I do. There's lots of reasons that you need an additional kitchen space for. Um, I would also probably, how many bedrooms do we have now? Five? Five. Five, two story. I would have a loft that is functional. That, that is the one thing I also like. A real loft that's for perfect. Meaning you can have a couch nice. here and it faces the TV here. Mm-hmm. And not a couch here with the TV here. That's dumb. Uh, <laughs> Tell them, girl. <laughs> I enjoy wood floors. Light colored wood floors. I enjoy white kitchens with gold aesthetic. We're done here. <laughs> You get it. Yeah, you yeah. see it. You see the vibes. You see it. We similar exterior and interior. Yeah, we want a lot of land just because that's what we. I like used the. To. I like the the, the and gate. Some peace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not the community. It's my gate. My Personal property. gate. That's community why he wants is what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have never been ones to want an HOA. We don't want nobody. We don't want to pay somebody for you to tell me what I got to do. Yeah. Girl, Girl, you, you can't do that. that. Shut up. Yeah. This no. grass got to look like this. Shut up. <laughs> I want that yeah. gate. I, I I always said I'm in my dream house when there's deer roaming my property. Oh yeah, just randomly like, is that an elk over? Here? Yeah, that coming buck. So that's not a house here in I was California. Say, you ain't trying to move here. But you what's your dream that type home of size. here? But here, um, similar, I would want something with a gated front, like fenced all the way in, like Keep my own out. property. Um, I like the I like wraparound driveways. Mm-hmm. Like the wraparound with the you pull under and it's the big chandelier yes. hanging down. I also tell me what you guys think about this. I don't like driveways, or I'm sorry, I don't like garages as far as as part of the aesthetic of the front of the house. Or you like I want I need it to be yes, behind absolutely. or on the side. No, no, no. Yeah, that, so the wraparound go you wrap around, but then. It's a little cut off and it wraps yes. goes under the house. So, yeah, you know, yes. out to yeah. the back. I don't somewhere. let my aesthetic on the outside be my aesthetic Just on the house. outside. Yeah. Garage size, I'm gonna need about at least an eight car. Y'all was fancy. To park. And you like cars. Tony Stark. Eight, eight car. Like, you just du- said eight. double deep and very wide. Oh, so tandem. So four, four garage doors. Okay, and tandem I park. Yes, exactly and tandem what you're parking. saying. I was just making sure you heard what Listen, you said. I, I, did you hear it? Angel the, said, said I heard you. I was just verifying. Yes. Yeah, no, you heard. Go ahead. I know I heard it, but did you hear it? Uh-huh. Eight. Finish it up. You uh, need a garage for storage, too. Yes. Storing cars. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would like seven. But, uh, seven. I think you have to have an odd number because you need those single for like yeah the ride more real. which I'm not or gonna have, gar- or your gym yes no absolutely so seven and a half or eight and a half because you need a little short door like you said mm-hmm. yeah yeah um I always wanted a property that has a body of water on it like a lake like a lake or a like pond a oh you're not no, this not a is a house again you're not Marcus talking about move to Georgia. Here. You know, George, no. Yes. No, I just want to move to Georgia. Georgia. You, can do a, uh, you can do a man-made pond. In Calif- in Southern California, in the area in which we live. No, you want to move to the country. You want to move to the south. I'm like, sir, I know what you I'm talking about. You said dream home. My dream home I'm is to have here. that here where I'm at, Dan. Okay. <laughs> it is his dream. Let him have it. Marcus just said, I have home. the money to up. create Lake Marcus. Marcus. Exactly. Exactly. In a minute. Lake Tanksley out there, look at it. Lake, Fountain in the middle Lake, Lake, with me. Lake, no, in the middle. No, no. He can live in Big Bear. You finishing <laughs> it up? Where you? Yeah. I'm, I'm not finished yet. This okay, was come good. On. Um, but uh, oh yeah, I want my my area. I want the separate areas outside, like so. Uh-huh. I want the 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 pool inside the house. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's probably like beside the garage or something, facing the backyard. Wait, covered or covered, inside? Covered, covered, yeah. So that second so level, California. the second, something. you know how you have like the, uh, what they call it, California room or California edition where oh, it's like yeah. a patio? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That can just be big enough. That's, that's all it is. That's you ain't asking for much. Yeah, ain't asking for much at all. Don't make me no never mind. It don't make me no never mind. Uh, <laughs> and then that facing, you know, the backyard, then I'll, you know, you have the pool house or the separate area. And I have to have some type of shelter or shed for my own little, whether it be a office or something that I want to do something with. Knife sharpening area. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Knife sharpening <laughs> Just give me the knife. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I would like bunch of glass too. Sorry. 
A lot of glass. Five oh, yeah. to six rooms on the inside. Yes. Because I have a lot of children. Six we need a massive rooms. closet. Oh, bedroom. Oh, I didn't even good. get there. Massive good. closet, massive bathroom. No. Separate I really, closets. That would be great. I, I just need it to be massive. Yeah, yes. both of them. A but I, this room. is my dream also as well. So I just Well, your massive. dream should include me. Because <laughs> I did the half for your storage crap in the uh, garage. Uh, sh 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 you crap? No, nah, yeah, which mm -hmm. he. Well, I'm terrible nah, at it. She but don't I crap. love it. I, doesn't matter. She your gets the ingredients and tools to craft. And the material. I don't have time. I don't have time. <laughs> and she learned and the, on Skillshare. And the material. Oh, yeah. um, I down. do like a nice, bright house, a lot of windows. Yes. I love, I'm addicted to sunshine. I actually feel quite depressed if I can't feel the sun. So I need a house that has a lot of uh, windows to let the sun in. Really massive kitchen, very clean, light kitchen. I've had enough dark kitchens. Our first kitchen at our first house, when we did it the first time, was dark. Mm. We redid it right before we moved. It was light. I got to experience it for like a month, and then we sold the house. <laughs> um, and even our kitchen at the, the house that we have now is, um, we have to paint the walls to make it light. And I, I, I just want a light, light kitchen. Um, and uh, that's pretty much that's really living room, only. dining room, kitchen, formal. All that to me should be one massive area. Mm -hmm. Like I like the, the you, open wait, room. I was, I was talking about mine. Okay, it's fine too. Um, and nice big bathrooms for the kids. Ooh. Yeah, and yes, yeah, some place that I can shoot. All right, guys. The last thing I want to say, I oh, want, we looked at a house with this, and this is the last thing that I know. I'm talking made. about hers. A master closet that's big enough to fit a full size couch in. We saw a house no. like that. I want my bat. I want my uh, walk-in closet to look like a department store. Mm. Uh, There's some people I, in our neighborhood who have taken a whole yellow one year off that. I we want, did that at our old house. You did what? We had kids. We had turned a whole room into you know, a closet. No, we. I did. You did it. I'm sorry. For, I her, closet. for Mother's Day, I turned one of the bedrooms into a closet. It was oh, I fantastic. That. I hung, hung up all her clothes. We put up rags. Is a closet dominated. I love it. No, my side see. gets smaller and smaller. She just keep, we just put a little coat, coat or two over here with y'all stuff, <laughs> and just a hoodie or two over here with y'all stuff. My stuff be like, we ain't got nothing but a rock or two. <laughs> and the whole other side is all our stuff. I thought about moving my some of my stuff down there to my office now, just so it can have its own freedom. What a great idea! Uh, <laughs> all right, blacks watching well, us. Or a couple guys, of whites with that her jewels out her show. Now. This thank has been that chick's so angels page. Thank you for making us a hundred thousand subscribers. We worked so hard for this. When we was doing all of our TV shows, nine one one. Why you said we? You know, we the oh, angel family. Got it. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope you all enjoyed And another this. thing, go I would love to that. Ms. Wine Kevin Cellar. On stage. Yes, go on to Miss Kevin's right? stage page for the bald and the beautiful Patreon. If you're watching, be on the lookout. We got a cute little announcement for you. For you. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll talk. And if you're not a part of my Patreon, join you don't need to go ahead and join it. Subscribe. You yeah. can join it. All right. Have to be Bye, guys. That chick angel. Yo, she